Hey all, my name is Arjun. Uh, today I am going to show you how to make a KPA dashboard when we have uh, multiple data sources and then how we can apply the global filter across the multiple data sources and then uh, how uh, we can do a, a parameter uh, say let's say in a parameter I, I have a two dimension types when I choose the first dimension type uh, then it in the there will be a common filter so that common filter shows the dimension values for that when I choose a second uh, dimension type in the parameter then it should show in that common filter same filter the dimension value for the for that uh, for that dimension type and uh, so here is a dashboard that you can see uh, so there are three data sources used I said and first this is from uh, one data source and these all are four are from another data source and the uh, I'll just show you all uh, the target is in from another data sources source so there is a uh, parameter this one is a parameter and this is a common filter uh, I would say global filter and then uh, this parameter how it works let's say category is a one dimension and subcategory is another dimension so this is the common filter is used when I select category it only shows the dimension values of that category suppose if I change to subcategory it will show all the subcategory dimension values based on that the real values will be filtered ok so uh, for subcategory there is no uh, target value that is why it's showing blank alright so let's uh, start from uh, scratch and how I'll show you that uh, how to do that and first uh, there are three data sources here and so first of all I am going to create a parameter so I'll write it as select type take string choose the list from here type category subcategory ok first parameter then then create a calculated field that is select category and sub category ok so I will write a case function here case select type when category then choose the category field when sub category then choose sub category field ok so let me check whether the name is same yes so category name is same ok so this is done and what I am going to do I will do first uh, sheet let us say list of orders I am going to take the count of orders first I will drag order date and I will take only for one 2014 year put it in month list of orders ok and give a header for this number of orders ok so so let me drag this one. so before that uh, because I want this field to be global right so uh, what I will do I will copy this field in the second data source where we have same fields category and subcategory so I will paste it here and in the third also I will paste but the thing is it will throw an error because there is no subcategory here so I will remove the subcategory then once this is done 
now need to do a blend if you want to use common across all you need to do a blend so suppose if i look the one and two it's automatic showing right and and the names whatever the names are same it will take as a matching so select a subcategory it's already chosen reason is that we already give the same name so no need to blend here if i choose in this uh, it is not showing the third one so i'll go and manually choose this now if you select it in sub automatically it will select correct it's showing okay so so now i will do one thing i'll go here and drag it i'll give use all and then apply to all using related data source okay and then uh, year order data also i need it uh, i'll using this also all using related data source before okay so first because we have in the second uh, sheet data source also we have ordered it so that is why now uh, i'm going to do a second field so here again i'll take order date put it at month now it will show only the 2014 data uh, because we already taken uh, all using related data source and i will take here discount right has discount give it here a discount duplicate it make it for profit drag profit here duplicate it quantity type here quantity okay uh, let me remove this order date all the titles so we can easily drag it it should be removed in the initially before you duplicating it it will be easy otherwise you have to go and to the each sheet and remove it so in the first uh, tab only will show the headers uh that's an order tab in rest of all the sheets we'll just remove the headers quantity is done and now the sales so here we need to drag the quantity field get and sales put the sales okay so the next thing is we are moving into the third data source uh duplicate uh, let's take a new sheet uh here you don't have a order date you have a month order date but that the order date and this dates are not same so you cannot do a blending here so that is why i'll create a new calculated field called date and i'll do a make date so what is says year year of month order date comma month of month order date comma day of month order date okay yes. so now you can drag the state field here but now if you see the uh, the date field is not coming here filter reason is we need to go and blend it uh, because it is in the not in the same name 
So we need to add manually. So order breakdown and sales. So just add the date. So date all fields are not available. Again, you have to choose. Uh, you can choose uh, year you need it, and uh, here also you need it year. One field. Another thing you are using is month. You choose month in this month order date. Okay. So now if I go. are using related data source and apply no it is not coming uh, still list and sales again it's gone okay. choose date month date order date month order date Another one is year, year of date, year of year of date. Yes, now it is coming. Okay, choose the month here and drag the target. And the rest target. Okay, now we have all the KPIs are created. Name it as target. Now go for a uh, new dashboard. Take uh, the first one as text. Write it KPI dashboard. give an entire view uh, let's see I will give it at the end uh, all the sheets If you give entire view, it will fit to the uh, container. In the both uh, width as well as height. Okay. So, uh, now you wanted filters as well. Take the filter, select category and parameter, select type. So now you can do go and do the bomb formatting for this. Choose the formatting in all sheets. So if you in this case suppose if you do it in the first sheet and then you duplicate that sheet and for other mesh that would be easy because no need to come back again do it for all sheets if you do it in one you can duplicate that sheet and do the same format will remain for other uh, sheets as well so that would be easy target So now you can drag the settlement. So 
the header will be properly visible. Also, you can make it as single value drop down. Put a container for this, a border for the container. Then you can use the border for this as well. And background, also, you can use colors. give this as a white color if you want any space like that you can give let's say Containers. Can take this. This way. You can color it again. This way. And if you want to do any other formatting changes, you can do it. Let's see how the function uh, it works or not. This right, you can see the numbers are changing for some category. See yes. So you need to for a little do a uh, formatting as I show in the first dashboard, right? Similar way you can uh, do the formatting. And uh, I, I I think. You understood what I shown in this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.